This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. It's a new way of thinking of jujitsu. Click the link in the description and get your copy today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez. This time we are discussing JVOS and positional perspective. So a lot of people like to learn moves in jujitsu or teaching moves in jujitsu. I always look at moves and techniques through the lens of positional perspective. So what is positional perspective? Each position has a positional perspective. So for example, if you have side mount, there's side mount top and side mount bottom. Side mount top is a perspective, side mount bottom is a perspective. And each perspective has its own path and its own strategy and its own framework to work, work within. And um, let's get into it. So what is positional perspective? In reality, it is what I call focus over time. And I'm going to bring up a chart here in just a second so I can hopefully explain or you can see my explanation a little bit easier through the use of this particular chart. So we have an X and Y axis. And the bottom line represents focus over time or paying attention. So if you're in a particular position, whether it's side mount bottom, the longer you stay in side mount bottom, the longer of a positional perspective you are gaining. You are gaining time within that positional perspective. So you're paying attention. That just doesn't mean that you're reacting. It just means that, hey, what is possible from this position? What do things feel like and what is the most logical way to work my way out? The up and down line is consciousness and awareness. So over time, your consciousness grows, your awareness grows over time. So that's the kind of general idea. So if you start from a core position and you are witnessing and being present from within that position, I call this a positional perspective. Better explain it, it's an expansion of consciousness through paying attention. Now you can shift your focus to doing or going into different locations or different positions, but the longer you stay from within one position, I mean, the end result could be a different position, but the method in which that you are working towards that position could shift. My focus could shift. The longer I stay within a particular position, the more details are unveiled to me. The longer I sit there, the more my consciousness grows, whether it's, hey, the opponent is reaching around my neck in this particular way. Hey, the opponent, when I do this, starts switching their hips. You are starting to study what the opponent is actually doing, whether it's done by you initiating something and them reacting or their natural um, instinct and attack pattern, their primary attack patterns, whatever those are. And again, the longer you sit in a position, the longer you spend in a position, the bigger your positional perspective grows. For example, when I was doing jujitsu and I came from wrestling, I can take people down. So getting on top of people wasn't really a problem for me. So the first thing I did when I learned jujitsu is, okay, let me learn how to fight off my back. Let me understand how the guard work, what the limitations are, and how to prevent people from passing. So I spent the first two or three years, two and a half years or so, just fighting off my back, understanding how to fight from my back. Once I got a good understanding from that positional perspective of what to do and how to fight, I started to transition to other positions and I would spend years in each individual position. The first time, I spent the first cycle that I've spent uh, dedicating time to the back. I spent like two or three years. The first time I was focusing on mount, I spent two or three years. The first time I was focusing on passing, I spent two or three years. So I spend a considerable amount of time within each positional perspective so that I can gain the knowledge solely from that perspective. The, the way, that is the way I approach jujitsu and that's how I, I, I improved. I would spend a certain amount of time within a perspective. I wasn't jumping around and changing things around. I saw the perspective over and over and over and over again. And that way I was able to become comfortable just like the first time you ride a roller coaster, you're in easy. 
the 10th, 15th, 20th time you're on that roller coaster, you tend to be more relaxed and you understand what to expect. It's the same kind of idea within each individual positional perspective. So this is a, a strategy that I used uh, when I was getting better. Each week at the academy here, I spend at least one to two weeks within each positional perspective, underlying the strategy and game plan to attack or defend from each individual perspective. And I feel by the students being in the perspective over and over and over again, it grows their uh, their consciousness. Every cycle, so if we go through an entire uh, a posi a po a positional perspective cycle and then we start the cycle again, the next time that they go into the cycle, they already have a base layer of information to build from and to grow from based on the previous, the previous time that they were in that perspective. This is how I teach. This is how I learned. And I believe that this is an incredibly powerful way to transfer knowledge and to build skills in jujitsu. If you like what I have to say and you like what I'm doing, leave a comment down below, smash the like, like button and subscribe down below. Lots more content coming to you soon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.